shared certain parts of our life on social media, I guess, um, up to this point and the podcast, you know, hopefully we'll yeah. be able to shed some light on some other parts of ourselves. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, your 20s, your 20s, like, I feel like are a lot about learning about yourself, a lot about oh, yeah. getting to know you. And this is the time of your life where you can focus on yourself. Like, I yeah. mean, I know for us, like we've mostly been single in our twenties. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess speaking for myself, like, uh, oh, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. found it Same. extremely, extremely helpful to be able to go through, you know, these different struggles or situations or experiences, uh, where I'm yeah. able to really reflect on my own and not be distracted by, you know, a relationship or something like that. Because I feel like when I was in a relationship before, like I'm like really in it, like I'm like all the way in it. So, oh yeah, you're like a hundred percent in. Yeah. It's yeah, true. yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. Um, and yeah, a lot of your time and effort and energy and, you know, mind space goes to that person. Um, now, I mean, I've still like been dating and stuff like that and whatever but um <laughs> we'll get into that like later because i'm sure we'll discuss that at some point um yeah you know what it's really funny it's really funny because i feel like i have a lot of things okay so you know my friends and and i think you think the same but like mm -hmm. a lot of my friends say that I'm the type of person when i find the one it's gonna be click clap clap let's get married you know what i mean it's gonna be quick it's gonna uh, be quick. yeah because I'm not talked about person. this recently. Yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can and agree. And I can so agree. I'm like, and because I know that, because I'm the type of person who literally gets attached to socks, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> I get attached to socks. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> it's so true. You know, I get attached <laughs> to socks, so I need to be careful yeah. what I, what I get attached to. Yeah, and also that's true. I, I can I relate to, to that. I know you you do like we we're both like we both like get attached like it's it's, yeah. it's really sad but yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like it just pushed me to just be like okay so I'm the type of person that when my person will come along I'll basically fall head over heels for that person why the hell would I try to have small like smaller commitments and like smaller like you know I would rather take that yeah. time to really work on myself and really do all the things yes. that I want to do. I want to have yes. a big career. I want to get better at so many things. I have so much trauma I have to deal with. You know what I mean? And it's like, yes. trauma. yeah, yeah. Trauma at the end of the day, you have to deal with it. If not, it will, it and will get reflected. To, yeah. If you don't deal with it on your own, it will come out in your relationship and it will just always lead to a bad point. Exactly. Dealing with things like trauma on your own, so important. So important. And needing to sort that out within yourself and being very self-aware of your triggers and, you know, yeah. the, th the things, yeah, leading up to that, 100%, 100%. I feel like a lot of people just don't think about that. They just don't think, yeah. I need to work on this before I get... I feel like a lot of people think That's that true. when they get That's in that true. relationship, that would get sorted out. Like that person exactly. will help they're, them. They're going to save them. They're saving grace. They're going to make them a better person. Oh, come on. It's all up. up to you. It starts within it's like, you. Do not. It starts. Do not. Yeah. Honestly, no one's everything in life. You. Yeah. 100%. Okay. And this is the thing. When I was younger... I think I had that immature mentality. Like someone else is going to save me. Someone else is going to look out for me. Like growing yeah. up, I always leaned very uh, much emotional support on my mother. Yeah. And um, yeah, even from when I was like, she'll tell you, like from when I was a baby, I would not go to sleep unless she was holding me. Like it was like, it was literally like a, a whole like attachment thing. And like just having like always needing to rely on her or rely on yeah. someone to yeah. cope. And I mean, I've mentioned the whole like moving out thing and independence, which has really led me to be able to rely on myself and really put that on myself to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I've come to the realization where I was living a mindset of someone else is going to cure me. Someone else is going to help me. Someone else is going to be on my emotional support, but no, everything no. starts with you. Everything it's is you. on you. So it's 100%. up to me. And I feel like as soon as I got that, as soon as I started cluing in, you know, that I have to <laughs> fix myself. That's when the yeah. real work started. And that's where I started seeing the results. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's a mindset. Like it is I was a the mindset. Same way. 
I was, uh-huh. you know, it's funny. Uh-huh. I was thinking, I was, oh, and and oh my god, I, if I if I saw that girl today, I would probably slap her in the face. But like, oh my god, you know, who? I was thinking, <laughs> not me. I'm talking this? about like. I'm talking about like, you know, young year old me. Oh, like if you're like, talking to yourself. Yeah. Okay. I need yeah. to if I saw okay. if I if I saw myself younger, I would just like slap her. Like I'd just be like, what are you doing with your life? You know? Oh. Um I feel, I feel the like, same way sometimes. Honestly. Like, you know, like, like I what feel, was I thinking? <laughs> very like, immature. Why? You know, the uh, mentality. I, I think, yeah. I feel like I also, that's a very Libra thing. I think that I was mm. also romanticizing relationships so much and Same. being like relationships, right? Like relationships are supposed to be, you know, that other person comes and he completes your you. better like, half. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Just like you. Yeah, it's okay. I know. I, I heard that slip out. You have to come <laughs> as you, as a whole person. You have to, yeah. you have to believe that you bring this value and you, and you are looking for someone to bring their whole value and exactly. it's like a, a dance. Like you, you exactly. are working together. It is an effort. Relationships are effort. It is not, yeah. is not just, oh, it's, it's not a so, true love. Ugh, like <laughs> <laughs> it's none no. of that. I it, used to exactly think it was, that. but it's not. It's exactly they that. portray that in the movies. You're looking for the person who completes you, your better half. That's I know. Or like Hollywood. That is, uh-uh. That's honestly, not real life. <laughs> here's where it gets interesting. Barf. I, I know, Barb. Complete Barb. Like, honestly, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like so Barf fucking, in a bag, I'm man. I know, it. I know. Like, Same. I used to think, you know... Uh, what I used to think is like two halves make a whole, but no, 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 honey, no. you need to come whole, and the yeah. other person needs to come whole. If that other person they doesn't need to need not you. come whole, yes. if they don't come whole, you're you're gonna spend your relationship trying to fix someone else. That other person needs to have done 100%. the work too, and it's like, yes, you need someone who's gonna meet you where you are. And my mom puts it; I'm pretty sure she gets it from the Bible. But you need to be evenly yoked. You need to be at the yeah. same. You know? At the same level and yeah. you need to, you know, really kind of have done the work, have done the, yeah. you know, and being very self-aware on what you, you know, what you bring to the table. And also, yes, yes. It's very important that we all know, like, you know, what we're contributing to and also being always a relationship shouldn't have to be heavy lifting on one side on heavy lifting on the other. Yeah. I think that there are know, times when it's give and take, but but yeah, it needs to be as you know. When it comes to the us bigger picture, against the problem. Yeah, it needs exactly to be us against, us against, the, against problem. the problem. As the madness of the world turns around, you need someone who's going to stand there beside you and always have your back. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I feel it was a yeah. huge lesson for me too. Kind of mm-hmm. like this constructing this thing of. I need people to yeah. help me or I need my boyfriend to complete me. Or- yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm telling I you. I totally agree on that. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I mean, I guess in terms of like what my twenties has taught me, um, I'd say that for sure, my mindset and, you know, turning the onus on me, turning the, you know, back at me, self-reflection, how can I be better? What am I like? Mm. What am I doing wrong in this situation? Um, you know, what kind of things do I need to work on for me? It was like, you know, communication in times of conflict, confrontation, um, standing yeah. up for myself, having boundaries, knowing when to say no. Um, to say you know, no, work, it's, it's huge. Yeah. At work, in relationships, um, in friendships, all of those things. 